there is a seismic shift this month, the month of May, in your life. The number one message, the overall energy is that you're supposed to evolve. Creative ideas evolve out of the invisible. You're just getting downloads from the universe on ways that you can move your life forward out of the blue. Happy accident. Fortunate accidents can act as guides to edit and to be open wherever you should go next. And the dandelions are flying away and taking you in a completely new direction. You're hopping on board. You don't know where it's going to take you. You don't know how fast you will journey. But you have people below here who are wishing you well, who are saying, Pisces, we love you. Have a beautiful and prosperous journey. We get the fairy of growth. The fairy of growth is saying it's time. It's time to go airborne with your ideas. The fairy of growth is lifting you on their wings. They are carrying you psychically. Many of you did logical things to earn a living. You did what you had to do. You played by the rules. And now the rules have changed. The rules are opening up to your true self, to your true spirit. When we look at the wasp spirit and the ant spirit together, we're seeing that you have a beautiful group, 11th house energy, Aquarius energy, of people who are supporting you, who are saying, come this way. Yes, there are pitfalls. Yes, there are times when you will fall and it will sting and you'll pick yourself up and dust yourself off, and that's part of the journey. But what we see is this beautiful collaboration, people working behind the scenes, Pisces, to help you put the pieces together, whether it be a website, a business, whether it be planning your, your new venture. There are plenty of people behind you that have traveled the path, and each of them will have a little tidbit, a little crumb, a little puzzle piece for you, and they're going to give it to you willingly. As they see you venture off, you have all of this goodwill from spirit. You have in your 10th house of career, public standing, your public appearances, for anyone who wants to uh, make public appearances, for anyone who wants to achieve their um, their career goals, this is your time, Pisces. Sagittarius, we have a full lunar eclipse in Sagittarius later this month, and it's all about your career. It's all about credit ratings, career, public standing. You are going to be under scrutiny. You are going to be in the limelight, and you are ready for it. You've prepared for this moment. You've prepared for the success of the 10th house. We have passion and pleasure. Savor, savor your life. Keep a little journal. Write one sentence a day about the high of the day. Uh, you are going to look back at this and it will help you feel that sense of gratitude in your life for all that you are being given at this moment. When we are looking at you, your body, where you're going, you literally are setting sail on your dreams. We have the six of air energy here, Pisces. Look at that energy. That is a ship flying in the air. As you can see, the birds are flying under the ship. That ship is not on the water. It is the upliftment of your dreams for the future, moving past the limitations of the water flying high, sailing, setting setting your sails into the future with air sign energy. It's beautiful Aquarius energy. It's enlightened energy. The things that would have bogged you down or the choppy waters that would have happened in the past are gone. You have a partner or friends or people around you that are very supportive. We have the patience. We have temperance. Sagittarius energy, you couldn't be more blessed. The people around you will be quiet. They are watching you. They are there to support you, to give you that foundation, to give you the balance, to, to say to you, Pisces, don't, you don't have to go quickly. You just have to go. And so they're giving you that beautiful ethereal energy, but fiery spark of energy. They're helping you keep the fire in your belly alive. They're not doing it. They're supporting your effort to do it. And in so doing, they're showing their love. We have Jupiter expansion. 
for some reason, whatever it is that you're doing along with this world card, it will have international consequences. It will have international reach. We see you moving forward, Pisces. You want to earn your money in a much bigger, you want to be a small fish in a big pond. You are not worried about being a large fish in a small pond. You feel as though, and rightfully so, those with whom you resonate will seek you out. They will find you. The world card is about leaving one successful cycle of many more sort of a mundane existence. The existence that you've had to live, to pay bills, to make ends meet. But now you're in this beautiful energy of expansion. So we have nothing but expansion here, nothing but involvement, nothing but the growth. And what we see here for you is your partner is really staying out of this. They do not want to mess with your energy. They are here supporting you very much so. So your friends and the other people around you are very much there for you with the patience card. But they are, it's sort of like you've, you're now on stage. It's your time to shine and they're going to be very quiet, Virgo energy. They're going to be very quiet and let you find your path, let you find your voice and your way. When we look at the third house of communication along with the ninth house of your spiritual journey into this beautiful Sagittarius energy, you have people that adore you. If you are seeking a fan base, if you are seeking supporters, you are beloved Pisces. Two of Cups energy, the soulmates in your life that are going to appear and to support this energy are right there with you now. Spirit has them, has your back. When we look at this beautiful energy of the Page of Earth, we see a childlike step into the future with fairy wings. When we look at the fairy, when we look at the fairy of growth, we can really see you becoming very grounded, making plans. What does that look like? You're not overly sold on any one course of action. You're willing to be very flexible, but you are on this beautiful adventure. Your antenna, these beautiful earthy antennas are like your GPS system guiding you in the right direction, Pisces. The Two of Cups energy, everybody knows how gorgeous Two of Cups is. We see this flower budding under the water. That which you don't see is all of this growth happening. When we think of the water, we don't think of things growing under the water, but of course it does. Under the emotions of the people you touch is this dedication to you, this fan base, this love, this beauty. There's something very ethereal and very kind and, and very sweet in the presentation of what you give people. You give people a chance to tap into very very beautiful emotions that are very deep, that they love, and that you are giving to them as a gift, almost like a beautiful bouquet of love that you're handing off to people. When you were a child, I feel as though you fell asleep on the big peach. This is known as a devil card, typically. When we look at this, we see a big, fat peach that you want to bite into. It's so there. You've bitten into this. You've bitten into the temptation of your dream, and it's healthy, and it's beautiful. You can even see right here the prosperity. There's a big pot of gold here. So there was something in your home when you were still living with parents, when you were still in this very sweet energy. We have this little angel who fell asleep on the big peach. The big peach is your dream. You want to take a bite out of this beautiful peach to do something to earn money that you love. And you've had this dream since you were a child, most likely. And what I'm getting here, the reason the devil card is here, is people said, oh, Pisces, be practical. Become, you know, take bookkeeping. Become an accountant. You know, build your wealth with something reliable. But the truth is, that's not your journey. 
uh, in this life. It just isn't your journey. We know that the music industry rules Pisces. We know that actors are ruled by Pisces. It's very glamorous. It's that which is hidden. I would even go as far as to say that you're a magician in your own life with this card, the temptation. It's just sleeping. Your inner core of your abilities are at sleep. Wake them up, Pisces. It is time to set sail. It is time to release the past it's time to take the leap of faith. A lot of fool card kind of energy. When we get the ace of air in your career, you have clarity. You have a voice. People are waiting for your message, Pisces. That is the truth of the matter, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. The ace of air is your message is powerful. It's strong. And it cuts through the fog. It cuts through the path of many people vying for the same attention. When we get this ace in your 10th house, it's like you're, you're really on top of the world. And we see the world card here. So you are making your way airborne into this beautiful energy of having a message that will, will really cut through the truth of the matter. There's some truth that people get to experience when they experience you, Pisces. The fifth house of romance, Libra energy, beautifully balanced. Whatever risks you are taking are well thought out. You're very balanced in this. This is Venus and Saturn working together. You are going to create abundance. You are going to receive contracts. Libra is all legal partnerships. It can be a, an agent who works for you. It can be a fiduciary financial planner who has a legal responsibility to you. It is a paperwork that you sign when you get a job. It's a contract that you sign to take a partner. It is business partnership. It's people who give you advice. And you look like you hit the jackpot right now in the way that you will go forward. You're very balanced. You have this great clarity. You have great judgment. You have waited for this moment to step out from behind the curtain into the spotlight. And you have balance. You have justice on your side. You have the support of um, all the seventh house energy of partnerships that are going to be there for you legally while you expand creatively. The Eight of Cups energy, when we look at this, we are look at, we're looking at friends. For many of you, as you hop on to this beautiful Six of Air journey, you are going to probably be moving. I have shivers as I speak of this. There are people that you're going to have to leave behind that you love dearly. They won't be gone though. They'll just be in another space. You'll be able to talk to them. You'll be able to communicate with them. And they are your supporters down here as you take off. You're saying bon voyage, bon voyage. When we look at this energy, you're the ship. You're the ship that's pulling out of harbor and you're leaving this beautiful person behind. You'll meet again, Pisces, because as your ship goes out into the ocean, you will return. The ship always returns home. When we look at your everyday life, the messenger of air is giving you the power to make plans. You're able to go, you know, make plans, do research. You're very grounded in your approach. Every day that you get up, the lesson here is that you're going to take a tiny step, a baby step, a big step, whatever step you need to take to advance to advance into your secret yearnings, your secret desires, throwing caution to the wind, knowing that however you approach this new life, you are in a powerful position. Nobody else can judge you. Their judgment doesn't make any difference. The people with whom you resonate are here. They're all over the reading. There's so much love waiting for you, Pisces. Sagittarius energy, you will have an international appeal. The world is your oyster, Pisces. It's just incredible. This relationship reading that I did for you is actually your relationship with yourself. 
when we look here, we see the King of Wands energy. We see this beautiful energy, Leo energy, fifth house energy. You are so well supported with ever creative love affair that you're having with something that you would like to do, probably in the performing arts, or at least creatively. You are on fire, Pisces. We see that you've had this dream since you were a child. Whatever it is that you're manifesting now, you're taking that leap of faith like a child on their first day to school. You're eager for the journey. You're excited about it. We see renewal. This is the ability to let go of everything that's standing in your way. It could be a job that holds you down because it takes too much time. The pay is too low. You've already created some abundance here. So for those of you who are working two jobs or trying to maybe doing a gig economy type job along with trying to propel yourself into financial success, you are well on your way. Judgment says that you'll release the things that stand in your way and you will emerge victorious. We get the card of the Ten of Cups. This is your happily ever after. Pisces, here you are in your reading. You want to be happy. You want to enjoy community and love and abundance. For you, the real meaning of life is having these beautiful, touching, valuable, loving relationships. When we look at the energy of wise counsel, traditional wisdom about how to handle contracts, tried and true methods that are going to protect you as you put yourself out there. Queen of Swords energy. The Queen of Swords is very uh, powerful. The Queen of Swords is all about the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Uh, so your ability, your BS detector is out there. You're going to always know the truth. The truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. The Ace of Swords. So among your friends, this is what this looks like. Among your friends, you're going to be able to discern those friends who are really with you, who really want the best for you. The Nine of Pentacles. They want to see you manifest very quickly your hopes and dreams, and they believe in you. It's Virgo energy. They might even give you good tips day to day and on things that you can do. You have other people that you are going to collaborate with. You have three people around you or in perhaps the industry or the venue in which you want to grow. Three amigos, always good friends, always good advice. And sometimes these are your ancestors stepping in to remind you bits of conversation that you've heard over the years as you ascend. People that were your friends that may not be here any longer. So for some of you, some of this energy is those who have crossed over before you but gave you so much wisdom that you're going to really cherish right now. You're going to pick up those pieces and say, I get it. Whoa, ho, aha. Three of Cups energy, there's going to be so much to celebrate. You're going to have, your whole lifestyle is going to move forward into this beautiful energy of joyfulness. You don't want an entourage. That's not who you are. What you want is tried and true friends with whom you can celebrate life. You probably, it might include a pet, a partner, your friends, the people who cheer you on, but the people who really have your back. The World card again, you're going to expand exponentially and very quickly. And in that expansion, there are going to be people who are going to tell you that you, you received random luck. Well, you know, Pisces, you know, everybody gets lucky sometimes. And, you know, watch your money and make sure nobody rips you off. And what they're doing is they're stealing your confidence. So when you get this energy, I want you to see that not everyone has your best wishes. Not everybody has your back. A lot of people are jealous of the dream. And as you start to manifest the dream, there will be people who try to steal joy from you, who try to imply you're a one-off, you're a one-hit wonder. Not the case. And that is the lesson of this reading, is to Knight of Wands it right out of there. The Knight of Wands smiles and, you know, listens to what people have to say. And then they're back on their own path, their own journey. And look at how beautiful. You're going to be so kind and sweet. And you're going to nod your head and say, you know, yeah, I hear you. I know what you mean. Uh, point well taken. Not. 
you are going to reject the idea, you're going to stay on your own path of enlightenment. The people who are carrying you and who you are carrying into this new life are beautiful birds, you have feathers, you have new growth and abundance. We have this beautiful energy of the Three of Wands, your ships have arrived in the harbor. This is something that brings you great happiness and joy. You are emotionally so sound. Pisces, this is your card again. Nine of Cups, eat, drink, be merry, enjoy life. Something, your dreams, according to what the cards are saying here, what the messages from Spirit are, is that a dream that you let die off because other people sort of stole your dream and told you, oh, you know, that's probably not going to work. Keep your day job. We are seeing you rebirth that dream in this reading. When we look at the strength, you are walking into this with your defenses down. You're really quite vulnerable and you're comfortable being vulnerable. You know that being vulnerable is part of the success that you will enjoy. Throwing caution to the winds. Again, you have this beautiful Page of Swords energy. We have the Page of Cups offering people love tips, little bits of love, a chance to dream, drink from the cup that you offer them. We get the justice card again. People will really see you for who you are. They will judge you fairly. They will feel as though your value is such a good value in their lives. You will have people chasing you and following you and wanting to give you a contract. We also have the Eight of Cups. You do have the desire to move around in your work. For those of you especially who are performers, you will be constantly sort of leaving home or leaving what you want or your people behind. But here's what you have to know. The Ten of Cups, they're there for you when you return. Pisces, sending you love.